Hi, I'm going to show you how to enable Yazga, which is an implementation of Karma, on your Wi-Fi Pineapple version 4 or Mark 4. Now, before we get into it, this, basically, if you're not familiar with Yazga, which is an implementation of Karma, what it basically does is it's a piece of software that responds to probe requests. Basically, what that entails is most laptops that have Wi-Fi enabled internet access on their on your machine or whatever would send out a probe request asking hey is my such and such wireless network around here and the Wi-Fi pineapple will pick that up and it'll say yes I'm such and such wireless network and it'll connect and create an association point and you get internet access and you may think you'd be connected to Cisco's wireless network or I don't know, airline one Wi-Fi hotspot or whatever, but you're actually connected to the Wi-Fi pineapple. Okay, now before we get into this, I wanted to put the, uh, this disclaimer out that don't be dumb. Okay, make sure you use this hack responsibly. Make sure you use this responsibly. And I'm not responsible for anything that happens or what you do with this Wi-Fi pineapple. Make sure you check your local law listings in your region or area. Make sure it's legal. And none of the Hack5 affiliates or show members or whatever are responsible for this. You are responsible. So now that we got this disclaimer over with, let's get to the real meat of this. So in the previous video, I showed you how to set up internet connection sharing, which sets it up and everything's running happy, internet going, flowing, you know, all that good stuff. So we're just going to open up your favorite web browser, web browser and head to 172.16.42.1 forward slash pineapple. Same thing, root as the password if you haven't changed it, and the, pa the root is the username, and the password would be pineapples are yummy. And on the main page, you will see M. K4 Karma and usually it's disabled on startup unless you enabled it and did some other mojo in the back or whatever but anyways we're just gonna start this up and I'll say hang tight and Tropy bunny is bouncing I'm not I don't really get that but it's kinda cool okay and there you go that's it basically Karma with Yazaga implementation of Karma is enabled and basically if you have Windows 7 on another computer, um, if you connect to such and such wireless network, even if you're not around it, the Wi-Fi pineapple will pick it up and connect, and you'll think it's connected to that wireless network. Now, I haven't been able to reliably <clears throat> connect to a um, Wi-Fi hotspot preloaded in my listing on my other computer. It wouldn't send out a probe request. It wasn't. It was kind of finicky because in order for it to work, it has to send out a probe. request asking that device is such as this wireless network around so in order to force that uh, probe request we're just gonna go to network and sharing center you can go through the control panel or whatever and you're gonna set up a new uh, connection or network and you're gonna manually connect to a wireless network so we're going to put I don't know jigga plug a hug <laughs> I guess and whatever you want to name it and Make sure the security type is open. I don't believe it responds to. Uh, I think it does, but on Windows 7, if it's expecting a encrypted access and it's not, it won't connect to it. So we're going to start this connection automatically, and we're going to connect even if the network is not broadcasting. And next, and it should be sending out probe request is gafa. <laughs> around and the Wi-Fi pineapple will say yes even though we know we don't have an access point name that and you'll be connected via karma and you'll have internet access if you've set up internet connection sharing in the previous video I've shown you so I'm gonna test it out on my phone just to prove that it is working I wish you could see this I have an Android phone but I'm just gonna go to my wireless and network in my uh, control panel or whatever and I'm just gonna go add a Wi-Fi network and I'm just gonna put in a uh, Starbucks Starbucks and put the securities open 
and we're going to save that. All right, and right now my phone says it's remembered in its open network. So I'm just going to connect to it. Okay, it says my pine. Okay, it just said now that it was uh, uh, requesting an IP address, and it says my phone. I'm connected to Starbucks. Okay, and we can get a detailed report right now. Let's generate one. You can see my car. It's connected via Starbucks. <laughs> Even though right now we're nowhere near a Starbucks or any access point around us that's named Starbucks. And I'm going to go on my Android phone and open up YouTube. Uh, let's see if we get internet access. All right, there we go. Let's try video. Uh, let's see. How about, we'll try one of Chris Perillo's videos. Best USB adapter and uh, you should be able to hear it. So it's loading right now. Should be loading. Let's see. It might take a little bit. Our internet's kind of slow. You have a handful there we go. of devices sitting around you. I'm assuming if you're an average consumer, maybe you only have one. You probably. And there you go. That's about it. It is working up and running. Yazga is really, really easy. All we did, like before, just started it up right here. Should say start, and boom. It's up and running. Hack5 has done a wonderful job in their crew of this um, uh, Wi-Fi pineapple. It's really fun to play with. Now, again, use it for your own self-education and realize, tell other people, that Wi-Fi networks aren't really that secure. They're really kind of open and really, really not secure. And now, um, really, there's nothing to protect yourself from these kinds of attacks. You could remember the access points MAC address that might help but sometimes if there was a really malicious hacker they could take the MAC address of that router and spoof it which you can do on here on the Wi-Fi pineapple very easily with MAC changer and there's no real easy way like I said to know if you're being attacked or not there's not really one good solid answer the best thing that you could do is set up a uh, VP uh, I think VPN virtual private network to encrypt and tunnel all your data through that router and out to the internet so nobody is sniffing your packets. So that's how to enable Yazuga on your Wi-Fi Pineapple. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, rate it if you think it's awesome and cool, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks.